ASMR YouTube channel. Now, 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 I hope you guys have been enjoying these kit reviews. We are going to be looking through the Bundesliga kits today. We're going to be taking our time. We're going to be looking through them and rating them. If you like this content, if you're liking this footballing style content in a minute where it's more like football focused, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go. We have Let's move me over. Let's move me down here. We have number one, literally, FC Heidenheim. They have a traditional red and blue striped kit with Porsche Company across it. By the way, these are definitely this year's look. I didn't make that mistake again. Um, nice white collar and white cuffs. Really nice, like, graphic glitch design. The colours aren't actually that bad. And again, very traditional in the style of the, the team's colours. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a strong start. Their away kit, their away kit is a blue and dark, well, a light blue and a dark blue sort of diagonal gradient sort of colour scheme where the gradient goes in different directions, like left to right, up to down sort of thing. Very, very reminiscent of an old Arsenal top, if you guys remember, or if you guys could remind me of the year that that kit was like an Arsenal kit. I might be getting a bit confused. There was also a Chelsea kit, maybe 2006, maybe for Chelsea, where it had like this sort of pattern, but really small across the top. Well, it was more squares, wasn't it, that kit? It's very reminiscent of that. Uh, I, I like it. I'm also going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's solid. And then their third kit is just a white, represent well, white and grey representation of this away kit with a red collar. I am actually a massive fan of this kit. I think it looks really clean. I think it looks really, really clean. And I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think as a kit lineup, it's absolutely solid. Absolutely solid. Next, we have Bayer Leverkusen. Bayer Leverkusen. Their home kit being this red and black kit from Castor. One sponsor across the shirt, which is brilliant. Which, in every kit they've got so far, the sponsors and the badges match colours in terms of making it suit the kit. And I love that. It has a geographical pattern with these crosses on it. Reminiscent of the Bayer Leverkusen badge, obviously, within keeping with the buying colours. Absolutely fantastic. This is also an 8 out of 10. I think it's fantastic. Their white kit, at least from what I can see here, doesn't look to be a pattern bar. These zigzags down the side. Is there any extra pictures? Yeah, I think it's just a white kit. With gold, obviously, they won the league last season for the first time they've ever won it. So, they've gone out and made a kit look very, very royal and regal. With this white and gold pattern. I really like it. I think it's clean. I think that's an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's really nice. And the gold, it's like a, not an overstated, like, I won the league kit. It's perfectly executed in my book. And their third kit, a black and grey and sort of dark grey kit. Um, with these, I'm not entirely sure what the patterns are about, personally. Um, does it say? Mint blue logos. It doesn't really give us an indication as to why the, uh, the pattern is what it is. Um, they actually look like monuments. Sort of like famous locations. Maybe for Leverkusen, I'm assuming. Like this looks like a building, that looks like a fairground ride type of thing. Anyway, uh, colour scheme's fantastic, I really like it, and that is a seven out of, uh, 7.5 out of 10. I also really like that. Again, a strong start so far, and we're moving on to Bayern Munich, of which I know their third kit is 
ridiculously nice. And I think it's... Look at it. Look at it. Home kit. Very nice. Not the nicest buying kit that I've seen. I'm probably going to give it a 6 out of 10. I think it might be the worst home kit they've had in a very long time. But only because they've gone for the black colour scheme. I think they've made it look a bit villainesque in a way. And I'm not the biggest fan. But it's still a nice kit. The colours look good. The sleeves and cuffs look good. The, the pattern's fine. I think as far as bad kits go, this is probably the best of the bad bunch. This kit I'm not a fan of personally. I think the blue and black and sort of like lime green. Not lime green at all. It's like a, like a, like a turquoise cyan marble effect is nice and then they've gone for this pinky gold on top which just does not look good at all I'm going to give this a 4 out of 10 it almost looks like a training kit that they've got out we'll make that into the actual kit not particularly a fan of myself and then we have this third kit <coughs> that is absolutely fantastic colour looks so clean the stripes look cool the colour scheme is fantastic the retro badge is that is one of the nicest kits we're going to see and I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 I think that looks absolutely fat look at it on mate that is ridiculously nice Ridiculous is nice. It's a 10 out of 10 from me. Moving on to Borussia Dortmund again. One of the teams that typically have some of the nicest kits. Home kit looks very traditional. Yellow and black. Black pinstripes. Nice collar, nice sleeves. Really nice and clean and elegant. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's fine. I've seen better home kits, mind you. But as far as kits go, it's very nice. Away kit again, I think they've completely underperformed here. Black with these like diagonal, like gradient lines, as well as this big yellow stripe through the middle, just does not look nice at all. And I much prefer just to see the kit design and then this be yellow. And it'd be very, very nice actually, I think. That being said, that's not very nice. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. I think it just looks all over the place. And their third kit. Again, let's take another quick, more in-depth look because I like the look of this. I think that's very smart. I think it looks really retro. Again, everyone seems to be going for this retro-esque look. For a lot of kits, the collars are making a comeback. The big actual collars are making a comeback. And I'm all for it. I think it can look fantastic. I think it can look terrible. But I think it can look fantastic. In this case, I really like the look of it. The, the, the white and black colour scheme is really clean. But this is what I mean. You can make a kit look clean but boring. This is clean but fantastic because we all know Dortmund's black and yellow. So they've kept the black and they've kept the black and yellow. And they've added little yellow accents to really just pop the kit out. And to give it that element of personality. And it's an absolute flex to make the badge white to match the kit. But keep the stars gold to say we're still golden, you know what I mean, we're still winners, fantastic looking kit, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10, next we have Borussia Mönchengladbach, I have been a big, what's the word, a hater, I suppose is the word of, of a few of their kits over the years, this one by the any stretch is an absolute worldie, I like this, this is the right level of this sort of colour scheme, I'm, I'm not a big fan of green and white together, or green with any sort of colours, or just green kits in general. Especially sort of like the glossy green that you can just tell this is. They've done this right. The This swirly sort of pattern looks fantastic. The white stripe just sort of fits. I think the whole kit just sort of funnels into the middle, and it really does make it look very, very nice. It looks like a Okay, here we go. It looks like a tabard. If you know what a tabard is. Like, if you play things like World of Warcraft, you know that a tabard is just like a... A tabard's a 
there to represent what you're representing. And I think that does that justice. And I think it's the first time I've ever made that sort of comparison. And I think it works. And it's really nice. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. The Away Kit. I like it. Not as much as the Home Kit. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. This continued pattern that they've got going on is actually really nice. Uh, the green and the black. Less white on this kit. Which I get because it's an Away Kit. Main kit. The, the, pardon me. The Home Kit. Is, is primarily white. So you've got to get away from that. That being said. It's still quite nice. I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. The third kit, I think I'm going to do this, I think I'm just going to flick through the kits to give you a bit of, uh, a better idea of the kits. Third kit, really, really nice. Again, a black and white kit which matches the badge. Done really, really simply but very well. You've kept a normal black kit, you've added two sort of different colours down here, like a black and a grey. It's really nice, it, it's really like, that looks like a comfortable looking kit. I'd actually really like that kit. I think it looks really clean and I absolutely love these colours. I think again it adds that extra element of personality to what could be a boring kit. But it adds the personality of the team. You've got the black and white stripes in the badge and you've had a black and white stripes but in like a this oh, this pattern again. Oh this is really nice. So <coughs> this pattern that we can see on both or, or the home away and third kit is really cool but it comes in different elements. Really really like that. The inside of the collar is white with black stripes. The collars and the cuffs themselves are black with white stripes. Really nice. I'm giving that an 8 out of 10. Next we have Eintracht Frankfurt. It's okay. It's not bad by any stretch. Looks a little bit boring, mind you. I mean, it's inspired by that, but it doesn't look anything like that. Really, the star's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Having the star on the kit just down here, you can't see it in all the images, but it's like a little star, and it's a bit strange. Um, it's okay, it's not bad by any stretch. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. I think it's bang on in the middle. I think the red and the black and the white work well together. The star's actually really well done, and a really sort of like just a little, little nod. I don't really see, I mean, it's inspired by the 90s kit. Is it 90s kit, did you say, or uh, late 80s, early 90s, yeah. But I, I still don't think it's really much of a nod. I, I'd rather you just go with like a like an out-and-out -out copy. Or just changing one or two things. That's not quite the same. Five out of ten. <coughs> They're away kit, quite boring again. Just black and red. Oh, have they gone for the same kits? No, that's 24, 25. I don't know. Um... Yeah, black and red. It's okay. It's a, it's a clean kit. It's a six out of ten. Black black shirt, red collar and cuffs, red light stripe down the side, white writing and badge. It's fine. And the third kit is so off beast. That's very out there. I'm a sh is it in keeping with anything to do? Style of the glorious early nineteen eighties. Okay. I'm not a fan myself. I don't see how this fits in with that. It's so against their own identity and culture. The orange kit's fine. The black's fine and the orange stripes are fine. But then you've kept this white and black badge, which really doesn't make... It just stands out. And it, not in a good way. Like, you can make the badge stand out in a good way. This isn't that. It just doesn't look correct. So I'm giving it a 4 out of 10. We have FC Augsburg. Or Augsburg, shall I say. That's a nice kit. That is a fantastic looking kit. A sort of like an off-white, creamy coloured kit with these red ribbons that run around. The green writing's a bit of an off-put, but we'll get past it. <coughs> and then, a white base with a grey renaissance-inspired pattern that includes the cities and the club's iconic pine knot. Love it. I don't know if you can quite tell, but there are like bands of... Well, a renaissance inside, uh, inspired pattern. Uh, and then red and green. Oh, these stripes are red and green. I don't know how to feel about that specifically, but I like it. I'm going to give it an 8.5. I think it looks really, really cool and definitely unique. This is what I mean by adding personality to your own kits. Yeah, you can see there, look, it's like leaves and 
sort of like Renaissance-esque. It's nice. It's really nice, actually. I'm a big fan. We have their away kit, which is so outworldly different. You've got a geographical pattern, if you can see that on the kit, which I, I'm a big fan of when clubs do this, but they've got to do it right. For me, the colour scheme just doesn't work. I don't like this greeny blue with red. Not a fan of that at all. You could have kept it just white. If you, I think if you get rid of the red there, it really does make it a nice kit. I think the red, although the, the, the colours of FC Augsburg are red, I think that the red ruins it in this case. And you've already got it on your home kit. In, in our sp either, either that will make the kit red. You know what I mean? I'm giving it a 3 out of 10. I think it could be the worst one we've seen so far in terms of colour scheme. But then you have this absolutely... Oh, mate. <coughs> After the Bundesliga, you've got the strongest lineup of kits. The pink that they've chosen is fantastic. It says dark red, but it's definitely... Oh, mate, actually, it is more of a dark red. That looks way more pink up here than it does down here. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The patterns that they've got with these like tiles of different things. That's wicked. The colour scheme's fantastic. The badge colour to match just really suits the badge colour. I, I prefer the badge as that than the actual Augsburg badge. Fantastic. I'm giving that a 9.5 out of 10. And if it is more of a dark red than it is a purple, it's more of a it does look claret, doesn't it? I think that's fantastic. 9.5. Moving on, we have Holston Keel. Are they a new team coming up? Sponsored by Puma. Um, it's not, it's not great, is it? We've got this weird hexagonal pattern that sort of like flips you into the dimension. But only down this bit. Which I suppose is when you're sat on, sat on a person, it's fine. The dark blue is okay, but the red really just doesn't look right. If you had white, wherever you see red on here, by the Bundesliga logo, if you had white, I think it would look absolutely fantastic. But you don't. I'm actually going to give that a 2 out of 10. I think it looks so out of place. Am I going too far to say it looks a little bit like a pot of yoghurt? Could you imagine like some kid's yoghurts with that sort of colour scheme? So, moving on to Holston Kiel's second kit. Again, a relatively boring white and blue kit with just like a uh, graphic design for it. I, I don't know what it is about these two kits so far, but they just, they don't really seem, like, do you know when you look at a kit and you think, that's been designed, like, that's had some thought put into it. This just seems completely thrown together. Like, the blue and the white is fine. It's okay. The, the, the red, I suppose the red writing stands out on the white and the blue. So I get it. I'm giving it a 4 out of 10. It's okay. Nothing special. Not even a little bit special. And then this is like... Not even an image, is it? Worn by Lewis Holby. Lewis Holby plays for them. What? Um, again, it's actually probably the nicer kit of the three. Just a, a red kit with some type of like diagonal pattern on it. Looks really good. And the white writing looks a lot better than the red writing. The, the white writing looks a lot better than the red writing. It, I think it's the nicer kit of the three, really. Moving on, we have Mainz. Oh, Mainz. Home kit is really nice. I love this white and red, like, checkered pattern they have going on. That just sort of filters off as it gets lower and lower. But then where they haven't got the white and the red, uh, yeah, where they haven't got the white squares, they have these, like, Small triangular sort of, not even triangular, like triangle with a with an extra bit on the end. If that makes sense, like squared off at one one corner, um, through each bit, and it really just adds to the kit. Again, the kit sort of funnels in. I like it. I think I like it how it sort of the shoulders funnel up and the kit funnels down. I don't know how I feel about that in terms of like noticing it, but I think it looks fantastic regardless. I think it just makes the kit look cool. Um, it's really, really nice. Kit looks really, really nice. Um, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. I think that's fantastic. The away kit, I don't think I've ever seen this colour combination before. Like, 
dark blue in salmon. It looks fantastic as far as I'm concerned. A really nice dark blue coloured kit. Like, not like a... It's got more grey in it than it has blue. But then this salmon really pops out. The collar looks great. The shoulders look great. This this graphical pattern they have on the collar and that. Fantastic. Really nice kit. I don't like it as much as the home kit. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, but it's still very nice. And the dogs have come back. Hey, zigzag. Uh, third kit, yet again. Very reminiscent of like a Real Madrid kit. White with gold will always be absolutely fantastic. So long as you can keep it clean, and that's exactly what they've done. Gold cuffs and gold collar with the same pattern as the away kit. Gold right on the ba badge. Sorry, jeez, I've got the burps in the cups now. Um, is absolutely fantastic. Ziggy, where are you? Dinner. But I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, nine out of ten. Moving on to RB Leipzig. We have a home kit. These are always cool for their kits. Uh, pattern absolutely fantastic colour scheme absolutely great nice red and white kit you know what you're getting with RB Leipzig you're just getting a red and white kit with some type of pattern absolutely solid kit 7.5 I like it I, again there's not really much to say because you sort of already know what you're getting with the red ball logo in the middle the, the red collars and the cuffs look great it's just a solid kit the away kit is something a little bit different it's like a painted brush stroke in like three different colours of like a like a pink, a dark pink and like a salmon. Very, very nice. I do like this a lot. I think this is like the epitome of an away kit. I think it's trying something a little bit different, but it's not too far off brand. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm also going to give it a 7 out of 10. Again, it might not seem like a high score in comparison, but I think it's just an absolutely solid away kit. And then that third kit, I am a real big fan of this. I love this. This light blue and dark blue sort of contrast is really cool um the sort of like a like a tron-esque lines that run through it in sort of almost a zigzaggy pattern in some things in like a opposite direction in some way with these added little gray lines to really add to the kit i'm giving it an 8.5 i think it's really nice i don't like the color though the color's gone different than the, the last two kits and i'm not a fan of that not a fan of that colour. Moving on to F, uh, SC Freiburg. A plain red kit with a black badge. It's okay. Like a zigzag pattern through it in terms of like a, like a glitch graphic pattern. It's okay. It's nothing fantastic. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. I think it could be improved. I think they could do a bit more with it. But it's, it's non-offensive in any way. There's no like, oh, what's that? It's just a solid is an okay kit. Their away kit again is just an okay kit. It's like a white and grey striped kit with red on the collars and the, uh, red on the cuffs and a bit on the collar. It's okay. Again, it's okay. I'm giving it another five out of ten. I think it's just bang average, right in the middle. They haven't really gone too far. Third kit again is relatively relatively okay they've gone for a different sort of graphic than on the badge no they haven't the badge is the same okay um, and they've just added the uh, individual parts as almost like playing cards at the bottom it's okay I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 I think that they're the most bang average kits you could ever get absolutely nothing wrong with them but could, could do so much more the ceiling was so much higher uh, St. Pauli. Well, St. Pauli. I mean, the colour scheme off the bat is fucking disgusting, isn't it? A brown with a brown and brown. You've got three different shades of brown there, lads. I don't know if I like it. It's okay, I suppose. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. I'm not a fan. The white collars look a bit strange, but again, it's a non-offensive kit in the sense of 
actual design isn't bad. I'm not sure if I like it. In fact, no, I'll tell a lie. The colour scheme isn't actually that bad. I just think it is the design that is bad. This sort of like checkered pattern that sort of tapers down at the bottom and rounds off a little bit. Just a bit strange in my eyes. That being said, I'm giving it a 4 out of 10 actually. I'm changing this 4 out of 10. It's not great. The away kit, I'm actually quite, I quite like this. Predominantly white and then they've accented with the brown and they've kept it consistently one colour. Love that. Absolutely love that. There is also like a light yellow over here if you can't see it. Um, I think that looks really clean to be fair. Oh, there's also yellow like through here as well. A little bit of yellow there. You can see it more on these ones. Look, yellow, brown, brown, yellow. I think it's nice. I think it's okay. And it re is really retro actually. And I'm a big fan of that. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Third kit is just disgusting. Black with like this rainbow effect, which I don't actually mind too much to be fair. It's just they've used a very weird pattern for it, and, and none of this feels cohesive. The purple really makes this look so much worse as well. And the badge is rainbow. I'm not a fan. They've tried something. I get it. It, it doesn't work on the kit. Moving on, we have DSG Hoffenheim. Solid kit. Absolutely solid kit. Simple blue, white badge and logo and things like that. The weird tapering that they've done to the uh, collar and sleeves is a bit odd. Not sure if I'm actually a fan of that. Although it's just cut. So it's probably not too bad. Here it actually looks like it's like a double layered bit for some reason. Um, there it looks like it's just normal. So that being said, it's a solid 7 out of 10 kit, isn't it? It's, it's just okay. It's okay. The colour could be better in my eyes. The away kit, really nice. Again, nice and clean. Nothing so offensive. They've used white and blue very effectively. But then they've got these stripes through. If you can see them, I'll have to show you more photos in a minute. But they have, again, more topography or geography of the, the I'm assuming, the surrounding region. It looks fantastic. I don't know if you can see it very well, but... Yeah, you can see, like, the maps part here. Goes through, like, a central from there to there. It's quite a wide central sort of line. And then just normal white lines there. So yeah, very nice. I'm giving that an 8.5. I really do like that. Third kit's absolutely disgusting. Oh, what have they done? You've thrown toxic waste in your mouth. Spat it back out onto a kit and that's what you've come up with. Match green with a darker green abstract pattern. No, no, not for me. That looks ridiculous. That's a 1 out of 10. That might be the worst one I've seen in, in a number of years. That is horrific. Green badge looks kind of cool though. With a green logo looks kind of cool. If they had if they had a white kit. It would look beautiful. But no. Moving on to Union Berlin. Oh very nice. Red and white. Proper traditional kit with a proper traditional badge. The Berlin symbol. With the, with the Berlin tower in the middle. It is fantastic. The Berliner bar. I've actually been in. One of the only things I've ever done outside the UK in terms of sightseeing it was fantastic. Yeah, let's have a look at it on. Fantastic. I really, that looks like a proper 2012 kit. I really am a fan of that. Colour looks nice. Colour scheme's great. I'm giving it a solid 7 out of 10. And this, this logo, the bear, is brilliant. This one, I don't like it as much, um, but I do actually like it a little bit. I'm going to go 5 out of 10. Like, it's not like a 5 out of 10 because it's not bad or good. It's 5 out of 10 because it's got elements of good and elements of bad in it. Don't know if I like the design with the red stripes across. I think there's almost too much going on. You've got like a pyramid-esque force triangle design that sort of goes... Two, 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 and then you've got red lines that go through it as well. Then you've got a different set for the arms. It's like it's a bit much. 
That being said, the colour scheme I quite like. I like the greys and the blacks. I don't like the red through it. I think if you, if you, if you left it as maybe white stripes, I think it would look a lot better. If it's this colour blue, I think I really like it more. Blue and pink would be fantastic, but it's not as black and red. Actually, on it looks really nice. I'm going to give it a... I'm just going to give it a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 is okay. Third kit's disgusting. That's Sherbet Lemon to an absolute T. Look how bright that kit is. That is disgusting. Because it is, it is the colour that plays an indispensable role in Berlin. Is it just because the buses are yellow? You have yellow trains and trams. Not a fan. I think that's disgusting. With the red as well, is absolutely villainous. So 2 out of 10. So only a few left. Now we have Stuttgart. They have a white and a red kit. White with a red stripe in the middle. See, this is what I like with these kits is they can implement the sponsor with it looking like it's supposed to be there like the red stripe but then the white it's like negative space colors nice cuffs are nice kits clean i'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10 for the away kit a little bit more different the stripes still there across all of these kits to be fair um the the sort of chevron pattern is quite nice i don't mind it the red's nice Again, very inoffensive. I don't like it as much as the home kit. Um, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. There's not really much to it other than that, to be fair. And then their goalkeeper kits. So we have VFL Bochum. It's okay. It's it's just a dark blue kit with some type of... The standout feature of the embossed design featuring the fans. Yeah, I can see that actually. It looks like, yeah, you can see the picture of the fans have been embossed into the background. <coughs> Collar, I'm not a fan of. Cuffs, surprisingly, I'm not a fan of. But the rest of the kit's okay. I'm giving it a 6, a uh, 5 out of 10. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. The away kit, I'm not a fan of at all. I don't like this colour of blue. It's very glossy. It's very glossy indeed. It'd be okay if they just made the accents white. I think it'd have been fine, but they've gone for the dark blue, and it just sort of just sits a little bit wrong. I think the pattern they've gone for is a little bit weird as well. Oh no, I suppose it's a V F L. But yeah, V F L. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? It makes sense. Uh, over some sort of like right diagonal. It's a three out of ten. I'm not a fan of it. The third kit. Again, it's okay. Red and red and black, it's okay. The colour's fine. The sleeves are fine. It's just this glossy colour again. It's okay. It's a five out of ten. I don't really know what more to say about it. It's just okay. We then move on to VFL Wolfsburg. I know traditionally they go for these sort of bright green sublime. Hey, sublime. Can't see that. It says it there. Look, sublime as in sublime um, probably one of the only years I really don't like it it's a 1 out of 10 just the, the line with the green and the dark green and the the, the, the VW badge it just doesn't make sense no absolutely not absolutely vile away kit black with more green on it I get the green and I get you know but it just does not look nice at all just look at some of these kits. It is not very nice. It's it's a one out of ten again. I just can't think of anything good to say about it really. I just can't black kit green stripes with two of them being gradients and sort of filter out before it even gets to the top. Black sleeves. It just looks a bit shit in my eyes. It's a one out of ten. Wolfsburg do better. The third kit I quite like. I like the grey. I actually like this yellowy green colour. With the grey and black. I think it's the, probably the nicest kit they've got. It's a 6 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. It deserves that. And last but not least. Verde Bremen. We have actually one of the nicest kits they've ever put out. That is really nice. Really nice. Really, really nice. Really nice. Um, dark green and sort of like an emerald green 
checkered pattern that just sort of starts in the top off and then just sort of like melts down. It's really, really nice. I like this sort of pattern that they've got going on across all of that. It's like angular, if that makes any sense. And then you've got a centralised kit with the with the make, the badge and the sponsor. But it looks like it fits, if that makes sense. That is really... I'm giving that an 8 out of 10. I think that's fantastic. For a green kit, that's very high for me. The away kit. Let's see how it looks on. I actually don't mind this. It's a pale off, off whitey colour, is it? Yeah, with like a very pastel blue. Like a very, very pastel turquoise. Again, it's really clean. It's nice and simple. There's not a lot to it. It is what it is. Is there? I can't tell if there's an actual pattern on it. I don't think there is. It's really nice. It's a little bit different than the badge and the sponsors match. Love it. Um, 7.5. No, seven. Seven point five seems high. And third kit just a black kit with the same sort of zigzaggy crescent. With a little bit of light blue on it. And then a badge that goes from purple to pink to blue. Don't mind that at all actually. The same gradient on the sides. I don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. Still not my favourite. I'm giving it a six out of ten. So that's gonna wrap up the Bundesliga kids, I hope.